Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting error with the recycling bin saying that the recycling bin is corrupted. Do you want to empty the recycling bin for this drive? So it should actually have a drive letter for what the recycling bin is corrupted on. So to please take note of whatever that drive letter is. And then we're going to move ahead to the next part of the video. So I'm actually going to open up a notepad file here. Just going to the start menu, type in notepad. And now I'm actually going to paste this in in the description of the video as well. So I'm going to change the C here. So I just paste this into a notepad file. So if you have C and your issue is on the D or the E drive, you just would change this C right here that I'm highlighting with whatever letter you're having the problem with. Once you're done just doing that, don't get rid of any extra spaces here. Notice there is a space in between the Q and the C. You don't want to delete any of that if you're changing the drive letter. If your recycling bin is corrupted on the C drive, you don't have to change anything. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to close out this notepad file. I'm going to head over to the start menu, type in command prompt. Best match, should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into this elevate command line window, I'm going to go up to this top bar here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you paste that in, it should run successfully, and hopefully that has resolved the problem. I would suggest restoring your computer as well. So once you're done with that, if we close out of here, again, I would suggest restoring your computer, hopefully that worked. If it did not, I would then suggest opening up the start menu, type in folder options. Best match should come back with file explorer options. You want to left click on that one time. And now you want to go ahead and left click on the view tab. And now you want to scroll down until you get to hide protected operating system files right here, which is recommended. You want to uncheck that and then left click on yes. You can recheck it once we're done with this tutorial, but we're going to just have to turn that off for right now, and then left click on Apply and OK. Now you want to go to, again, whatever drive you're having the problem with. So I'm going to open up File Explorer here. Most people have a desktop icon. You just type in the Start menu as well. We're going to go underneath this PC, my local disk where we're having the recycling bin issue. So I'm going to just double click on that. And once you're done with that, you also wanted to make sure you show hidden files, folders, and drives, which we didn't do before. So you guys are more than welcome to do that at the same time. So I'm just going to go on View. I'm going to go underneath Options here. Change Folder and Search Options. I'm going to go underneath the View tab. Underneath Hidden Files and Folders, I'm going to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. So you can actually do that at the same time that you uncheck the box for the operating system files here. I thought that I already had it enabled, so I have to go back in for that. Now there should be a folder that appears that says Recycle Bin with a little dollar sign in front. You want to go ahead and right click on that, and then left click on Delete at the bottom of the list. Just give it a moment here. Once you're done with that, a new Recycling Bin should automatically pop up within the space. So let's see if I just refresh the page, a new Recycling Bin pops up. So hopefully this should have resolved the problem you were having. I do hope I was able to help, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Feel free to, if you go underneath View here, and then underneath Options, Change Folder and Search Options, and I went back to the View tab. You're welcome to check mark the box next to High Protected Operating System Files, as well as changing hidden files and folders to Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders, or Drives. So personally, suggest doing that for both of them. So again, do was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.